The sound of the sun was considered by most ancient religions as the most sacred sound of the universe. It is a sound that cannot be heard by the human ear, because the human ear only hears between twenty and twenty thousand hertz. The sound of the sun is much lower in frequency and also much higher in frequency than we can hear. Could the sound of the sun be part of the universal language system? NASA has recorded the actual sound of the sun in deep space and compressed the inaudible waves so that human ears can hear it. If we listen to the sound, we can hear and feel a deep vibration. The sound of the sun recorded by NASA is precisely as the ancient Hindus had described it in the Vedas thousands of years ago. It is a mantra that can be intoned with human speech as Om. In the 6th century BC, Pythagoras also heard the sound of the sun and described it as a deep resonant hum with higher frequencies blended into it. How did the ancient Hindus know this mantra if it could not be heard by the human ear? Could they have actually peered into the universal consciousness and perceived it? As human language and the language of nature cannot travel faster than the speed of sound as a sound wave. Language as information can travel at the speed of light and beyond by entangling itself on more subtle energies. In the same way that we can send human voices or music on radio waves at the speed of light, we can send our own dialogue, personal energy signature, and information through our own biophoton light emissions at the speed of light. While the speed of light is useful to communicate within the solar system, it cannot take us far beyond it in any reasonable amount of time. In this way, biophoton emissions are limited, while more subtle bioenergies are not. Dr. Taylor's discovery of the psychic force as subtle energies emanating from the human body of consciousness demonstrates how our personal information can travel on subtle energy frequencies at the speed of light squared, cubed, and beyond. 